All right, so before I get into this story, I want to explain something. For the past two, three years of my life, I've been focused on getting legal pot in New Jersey. We started off really strong, got a lot of support, particularly for an initiative that was initially called uh, urban equity, and then it changed to social equity. And basically what it is, is that urban communities really got shafted by the drug war. They deserve some props. Now, what happened in New Jersey's legalization fight is that they took that premise by by they, I mean, legislators, elected um, organizations, they took that premise, ran with it, and ran it into a ditch. Because by the time the vote came around, you had like 45 different people making all these different demands from expungement to um to like you know to to reparations <laughs> so so ended up we ended up losing on that one and now a big a big part of that was also senator ron rice he um is actually my state senator my hometown state senator he's like i'm from jersey like when i when i say i'm from jersey i literally mean i was born and raised in the in essence county new jersey and state senator ron rice has been my state my senator for over 30 years Despite, like, regardless of where I was in the world, for the most part. <laughs> and so, um, you know, me and him, we had a lot of, we went to head, uh, we went to went to blows often about this because he's staunchly on the anti side. And he came through and really, really wrecked the legalization efforts and was able to get the whole thing stopped. And I'm not angry about it. I never was because what was being pushed as legalization here in the state of New Jersey was really just corporatization. It was just nothing but a uh, big pharma. Um, big companies coming through and wrecking shop with no rep- with no re- recourse or recompense for urban communities. So um, right, it's, but so it's stalled right now. And I'm pulling up this. Uh, I got that we got this article from NJ.com, which used to be a really good, uh, which used to be the Star Ledger, which 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 was a very good um, news publication. But they've went. They've they've gone so far on the left side that, nah, bruh, come on. Like they they like I believe that a lot of these long-standing publications, they really um, <laughs> they really screwed the pooch, and they're a big part of the reason why you know we find ourselves in the financial and um just dire circumstances that a lot of urban communities find themselves in. But let's get to it. Prospects for New Jersey legal weed look. <laughs> prospects for New Jersey legal weed bill looking grim. Insiders say it may be put in voters' hands next year. Now that's what I've been uh, really wanting this entire time <clears throat> is for the the legalization to go toward to go on a ballot. Like I just like let's put it in the um, people's hands and let the people desi- decide. When uh, in what was last year, union had a vote. And I worked on that campaign. It was called the Yes Union Can um, campaign, and it was basically if legalization ha- does happen, could you um, union could use the money? So you know we got them to say yeah, let's we can have a dispensary here. It's all good. They voted yes for it, and I believe if you put that on a ballot and give and, and let me go talk go around this state, we can get legalization done really quickly. Um, this was written by Brent Johnson. Editors note, entrepreneurs everywhere, I and Bill and D. Okay, whatever. Can you, NJ Cannabis Insider. Like, when my, I have another show um, that I'm coming to an end on. And one of the reasons we stopped talking about legalization so much is because of publications like NJ.com and NJ Can- New Jersey Cannabis Insider and all these other things who really just... Like, I don't know, you have like you ever have a good idea, see somebody take it and just run into the ground with it? Like, that's nuts. After more than a year of stops and starts, hope is dimming for New Jersey's leaders to convince enough state lawmakers to vote for a bill to legalize recreational marijuana in the state, NJ Advanced Media has learned. Instead, the chances of letting Garden State voters decide whether to make pot legal have increased in recent weeks, most likely in a ballot referendum in the 2020 November elections, according to the six legislative and industry sources with direct knowledge of the discussions. And if the issue does go before voters, then that means New Jerseyans may not be able to partake in legal weed until sometime in 2021. Okay, like it's the framing, right? Because if you want to partake in pot, you've never needed a license. You've never needed uh, in any kind of like the, the, these laws suck, man. 
Some sources say a new development has added to uncertainty, the increasingly heated street fight between Governor Murphy and allies of State Senate President Steve Sweeney, who's t- who, who, two top Democrats who must work together to get pot passed over tax incentives doled out by New Jersey's Economic Development Authority. A task force convened by Murphy has been investigating whether corporations misused the breaks in past years, including one company owned by, owned by Democratic pro- power broker George Norcross, a close ally of Sweeney. And that has made the already strained relationship between Murphy and Sweeney even more tense, according to sources who spoke on the condition of amenity to be candid about the situation. Bill Caruso, as an attorney and founding member of the social justice group New Jersey United for Marijuana Reform, one of the groups that really, really dug in and ran into the ground, man, called the feuding over the tax credits a horrible distraction for those who are focused on cannabis. Caruso said progressive advocates have decided to make this their top issue, leaving behind the social justice efforts surrounding cannabis, and that is unfortunate. State Senate State Senator Nicholas Scatari, the bill's main sponsor, admitted the dispute is not helping negotiations on pot. But, he stressed, no one has given up yet on trying to get enough votes in the legislature. Scatari, the union, called a voter referendum a last resort if they can't. Murphy's office declined to comment on Friday. Okay, let's cut this off real quick. See, the reason that they don't, the reason the lawmakers don't want to put herb on the ballot is because they will not have any control over it if it's up and down yes and no question then if it's legal it's legal they won't have any um they won't be able to tell you if you can home grow like it really does depend on the wording of the um ballot initiative but for the most part if it's an up or down yes or no vote then that takes up a lot of the power away from the state. And that's what I prefer, to be 100% honest with you, which is why I'm not upset that Senator Rice debted the, the, the last legalization effort, because it wasn't really legalization, it was corporatization. But a Murphy administration source rejected the idea that the pot bill and its social justice implication, implications are being jeopardized by an investigation examining whether tax breaks and thus taxpayer money were cr- criminally abused. The source dismissed the concerns as spin from lawmakers trying to cast blame because legalization has stalled in the state Senate. The the sources stress that Murphy's team and legislative leaders have not formally discussed falling back on a voter referendum. Murphy, a Democrat, made legalizing marijuana a central part of his 2017 campaign, in large part because residents of color in New Jersey are three times more likely to be arrested on pot pot charges. Okay, that's bullshit. Part my French, but that is bullshit. They the the it tax revenue. Like this is the great lie when it comes to New Jersey's legal cannabis. It's not about, oh man, we want to take care of the poor black folk. No, bullshit. It is all about tax revenue. But they keep spreading this lie, which is a big part of the confusion. If you tell a lot of if, like most people who've seen who most people are willing to admit that drug wars failed. Most people are willing to admit that the state has um, pension and, and, and economic problems. We could use the money. That should be the only argument and the only sticking point when it comes to this. But they're trying to be altruistic. And the problem is, is there is no altruism in politics, okay? It's all done with an agenda. Make no mistake. Of the 10 states that have legalized pot, only Vermont has done so legislatively. All others have turned to voters to decide. Murphy and the other New Jersey leaders have hoped to go to the legislative route because they say it would give them more flexibility with how the program gets rolled out. No, it would give them more control. Like in flexibility, control. Still, while Murphy's fellow Democrats control the state legislature, its legislature, legislature, it's proven difficult to wrangle enough votes for the bill, which would make marijuana legal for those 21 and older in New Jersey. Murphy, Sweeney, State Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin, and other top Democratic lawmakers worked feverishly to hold a vote in late March, but the plan was canceled when it became clear they'd fall a few they fall a few votes short in the Senate. Thank you, Senator Rice. You're a G. Uh, we don't agree on everything, but you're a G. The new goal was to hold a vote before the end of May. Now that appears unlikely, according to multiple sources. One source said all the goodwill and coordination built up between Murphy and the top lawmakers when they tried to secure votes in March is gone. Some of the South Jersey lawmakers who who leaders have tried to convince to vote yes have publicly chided Murphy in recent days for saying tax breaks have been abused by the city of in the city of Camden. 
All of all of this doesn't mean leaders have given up on the hope for a vote in the legislature on weed. Sweeney and the Senate president told New Jersey Advanced Media, there's no doubt in my mind, one way or another, adult use marijuana will get done in the state of New Jersey, but he wouldn't commit to a timeline or how it would happen. I've been wrong many times on that, uh, Sweeney said. He said if a May vote falls apart, it's unlikely another vote will be scheduled before this November's election when the ass entire assembly is on the ballot. It'll be interesting to see what happens, Sweeney said, but we're not going to give up trying. One idea is to hold a vote on the lame duck period after November's elections. Sources, however, say another big issue is that many of lawmakers, many, many of lawmakers, many lawmakers oppose the legalization are hard no's, meaning they are unlikely to be swayed, even by the horse trading that often pops up in tough legislative battles. I don't know if enough can change, one source said. All of this has made it more probable that leaders will ask voters to approve a constitutional amendment approving legal marijuana that would allow lawmakers on the fence to avoid having to cast a public vote. Polls show a majority of New Jersey voters favor legalizing weed. The question is, which ballot referendum would appear? Which ballot would the referendum appear on? Leaders fear that pulling it before the votes in November might be risky. That's because assembly seats top the ticket which will likely draw a low turnout of mostly older voters. One source said that leaders would be screwed if the referendum doesn't pass this year because they'd have to wait at least two years to put it on the ballot again, according to the state's constitution. But November, next November, we'll see a presidential election with a likely larger and younger turnout. Leaders expect the referendum would pass easily then. In the meantime, Murphy is expected to follow through with plans to expand the state's medical marijuana program. If the legislature doesn't vote in May, the vote would make it much easier for patients to obtain the drug, which Murphy says is sorely needed. State Senator Ron Rice, the most vocal opponent in the legislature to legalize marijuana, said addressing the needs of the patients should be the top priority. First, we must attend to the sick and dying who need medical marijuana today, right now, to relieve their suffering, Rice said. The veteran senator and lawmaker said lawmakers also need to pass the bill expunging records to give people a second chance and a fresh start after being subject to unfair marijuana arrests, convictions, and criminal court records. See, the, my big deep problem with Senator Rice's position is that he didn't hold this position before legal pot was on the table. He was happy to sit there and just send brothers and sisters to jail for nothing. If New Jersey's voters do not pass legal pot at the ballot in 2020, it may be another few months at least before you could legally smoke because the state would need time to set the industry up. Still, sources said it may not take too long because lawmakers could pass legislation before the election to lay the groundwork. Still, none of those bills have been voted on in Congress. Okay, let's get back to that one. <laughs> it's also possible that Congress could make marijuana legal across the U.S. before New Jersey acts. Several measures have been introduced to either remove the federal prohibition against the drug or to prevent Washington from enforcing its laws against cannabis in the states that have legalized it. Still, none of those bills have been voted on in Congress, and it appears unlikely anything would happen on the broad scale while Republicans control the U.S. Senate. So that's it for the... Um, for the article but i just wanted to you know let you guys know that this is a thing that's going on right now um if you like the video send me it with a like if you uh appreciate what, what i do here sub share um talk to me in the comments do you think that this should be on the ballot do you think that this is something that the legislature that the legislator should do by all means talk to me until the next video